Well, good morning. I usually don't start my videos in my office, but I am today. But uh, we are going turkey hunting. It is currently 5.30, April 11th. So today is the start of the 2022 spring season here in Iowa. Um, I am the one not hunting, Buddy Dylan is. You guys have probably seen him in a couple of videos. He basically is the one who got me into hunting turkeys and whatnot and showed me uh, way back when we were in high school. Not really way back, I'm not even that old. He hunts on this farm and he's been having some su success in the last couple of years. He's using a bow, so we're just gonna tag along and hopefully hear some gobbles, and see some turkeys. And he's calling me right now. Should be a fun time, hopefully hear some gobbles. It's supposed to be like 60 something degrees today with zero wind. Should be a perfect spring morning to uh, Kill a turkey. See you guys once we get in the woods and hopefully here go.
keep hearing turkeys that way. And they keep gobbling, but it's not like they're hung up, so we're gonna move a little bit that way to maybe pull them in a little bit closer. So it can seem like we're getting closer to them. So we're gonna do that now, and then get set up over there. And hopefully bring those ones in. And get another shot and another turkey.
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> and start shaking. Shaking so bad, I was like, "Fuck!" Insane. Opening day too. Never, yeah, literally. We never see that much. Maybe one big solid tom opening day, but other than that, we had we literally never this, got sick literally this morning when I did the intro morning. at my house. I was like. Yeah, so hopefully it should be a good morning. Hopefully, I like I I just like I just want to see one and hear a couple gobbles and I'll be happy. Yeah, we heard like that times ten, so <laughs> saw it and heard that. So much. I literally called this one too because I was like, because I think because they sounded like they're right here and I'm like, dude, they're gonna come right here. It went down the hill and it went up. It's uh 12:30. Little midday update here, or just basically the end of the video because I gotta go home and watch the baby so basically just to recap the whole hunt because it was because i didn't bring hardly any batteries hardly any cameras i literally brought one battery for the big the hunting camera and then uh two batteries for this one and two batteries for the gopro the gopro ended up dying this one we ended up leaving behind and the main camera ended up dying or we had like five minutes left on it but i'm pretty sure we got plenty of turkey footage on it but Basically, what happened this morning, we got set up, and then we heard turkeys all around us. We had like three turkeys near us, and Dylan called two the two toms that we, that came in that Dylan missed were probably like 200 yards away, and they worked their way all the way up to us. Then later in the morning, it was quiet, and then we kept hearing gobbles behind us, and they were getting farther away. So I basically just said, "Let's just." I'll just chase them and get closer to them. Maybe they'll come to us and whatnot. And because it sounded like there was a good amount of them. So we ended up working down the ridge and got closer and closer until the point where we got to the spot where we just seen all these turkeys. And we were just surrounded by them for the last two or three hours. Just constant gobbles and they were hend up. And there, that creek that they were in, they wouldn't come up because it was super steep. There was only one spot. And we thinking, we thinking, what the English. We were thinking the two toms that came out of the creek were the two toms that we shot at this morning. How did they cross the creek? Did they go? Where? There's a little trail there. It's like the little one. But the, that hen was staying to the left. And the hen did not want to move. Other end of the creek. If, you could, if you had a hen walk up, and come up to us. I think the birds would. Yeah, we would. We would. That's what I was trying to do. Make the hen like come. But I think the hen was getting jealous, or she was trying to like come. Yeah. Because I feel like she's a dominant hen, or she's like. She was talking. Hot. Yeah. But yep, hen never came in. And then those two toms that walked up the creek, the two toms that were behind us, were coming in like they were coming in on a rope. And then they saw the two toms on the bottom of the hill, and then they kind of just. Nervous. Nervous, yeah. And then those two toms ended up working around the ridge, came back up and then ran them off. If you could literally hear them fighting. So those ones got pushed away. And then we actually even got those toms to come back just to the top of the ridge. And I saw his head and the moment the other toms on bomb the hill, basically like in the creek, gobbled. He turned right back around and ran off. So he, that was part of the time that guy <clears throat> ran off this morning. But probably the best day of turkey hunting I ever had, even though we didn't kill one. And I wasn't even necessarily the one hunting. But just being there is just crazy. Like they were gobbling so close to like, it was like, yeah. I was about to knock off my freaking like eardrums. It was so freaking loud. Yeah, so I'm out of breath. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We have more uh, turkey content coming. It's kind of nice to start the year off with the banger with the morning like this. Hopefully the public land is just as nice. God damn. I don't know how the heck I walked through this. Or uh, all this walking during dairy season and all I have is a vest on and I'm freaking dying but I don't know even though we didn't get one or two it was a have them one. yeah it was this one's like for the books I don't think I'm ever gonna have an opening day morning like this but yeah we'll catch you guys 
on the next one.